So, next, I'm, I'm going to talk about the M Ruby. So, the Fukuoka is one of the, uh, <coughs> in the industrial city uh, in, in, in Japan. So, the many IT companies there is works for the uh, manufacturing companies. So, they made their IT system for manufacturing companies. So they, most of them work uh, work in the, some kind of the embedding system. In in that kind of environment, Ruby is not good for that kind of environment. Just because you know, Ruby is originally designed for the uh, Unix system, but not many embedding systems run on most of them uh, do not have <coughs> system at all, or maybe some kind of thin operating system like iTron or some kind of real-time operating system, the way it works, or some kind of, something like that. But the, since the power of the computer grows uh, faster and faster, and uh, the cost of all the hardware getting cheaper and cheaper, so, so the ratio of the software in the system is getting bigger. So the programmers get sick of writing huge amount of code in the language like assembly or C or something like that. So if it's affordable, if it's possible, so they very very want to write code in the more advanced or more higher level programming language like Ruby. So the people in Fukuoka asked me to, so that, the, so we, we, we like to write programs in Ruby, but the current implementation is not uh, small enough or the, not, not designed for the embedding environment. So that's, that's the, the primary uh, motivation of the start developing of the minimalistic Ruby. So, as you know, Ruby is a great language. It's, the program is terse and concise, and it's easy, easy to use, and it's powerful and fun. But its implementation is not optimal for some cases, especially for embedding systems. or for small devices, or digital appliances. So we have the, so the situation the programming language is used is different from systems to systems. So we have autonomy implementations, several autonomy implementations of Ruby language. For example, we have JRuby. The Ruby runs on JVM, Java environment. So, so the, so many people, so many smart people working on, working on JVM to <coughs> make it uh, better and faster. <coughs> and uh, many huge companies like Oracle or IBM work, invest on the JVM. So the JVM can utilize that power of Java virtual machine. So, as actually, JV, JRuby runs faster than Ruby 1.9 in, in most of the cases, but it is, it is it, it's so big and complicated, so it's not good for small devices. It, it consumes so much memories, and uh, its startup time is very slow. But it, once it start, get, get start, gets started, the, the performance is pretty good. And we have Rubinius, as sponsored by NGO. And the Rubinius is very pretty good and uh, uh, challenging implementation of the Ruby language. It has a small core written in C++, and uh, the most of the standard libraries are written in Ruby itself. So the most, mostly it's uh, it's Rubinius is a Ruby written in Ruby. And uh, surprisingly, 
It's quite fast. It's quite not fast. Yeah. It, not as fast as JRuby though, but it, sometimes it wins. Uh, uh, it's faster than J, uh, MRuby, I mean, I mean the CRuby, MRI. So it's surprisingly interesting project. And then, but you know, the MRuby is a drop in, uh, tries to be uh, a drop in replacement of the MRI so that it's not designed for the embedding environment. So that's the reason I started M developing MRuby by myself. So MRuby stands for Math <coughs> Embeddable, <laughs> Embeddable, Minimalistic Implementation of Ruby. So it has an embedding API. So in the traditional Ruby, canonical Ruby, so the Ruby comes sent in center. So Ruby is here. Ruby, the Ruby virtual machine is here. You can extend and add features to the language by writing C extension or C++ extension. So you can add other features to the language and you write the application in Ruby. So Ruby comes first. Application is written, totally written in Ruby. The part, of it, part of them, part of it can be implemented in C by writing C extension. But more, for most of the embedding systems, Application comes first, then the the apps call call Ruby to prepare their data structure or configuration or maybe some kind of logics to to help programmers uh, more effective in development. So so the relationship of Ruby. And C for other language is uh, in, in reverse in embedding system. So I redesigned redesign the C API of the language for MRuby. The every, every state of the virtual machine is packed into the one C structure, virtual machine structure, and the, the application can uh, handle virtual machine, Ruby virtual machine as a one of their data structure. So we use no C global variable to represent the state of the interpreter or the virtual machine. So everything is packed into one C structure. And then in MRuby, the cursor can be separated. So you can see uh, sit the byte, a compiled byte code with the application with a person. So you can pre compile Ruby, all Ruby program, Ruby application into byte code. So the, then they combine the byte code with the virtual machine and then link with the, the, your application. So you no longer require the, the parser compiler and the code generator. So no further need for runtime if the program size really, really matters. So unless you use this method like evolve, which requires cursor by, by its nature. And then beside that, building libraries can be configurable so that you can configure to remove the unnecessary classes, the fundamental classes. For example, you can uh, I mean I mean you can drop up the unnecessary classes. So for example, the some on um, embedding environment, some platform do not have any file system. So you you don't have files or I/O or processes. So that that the platform do not support. And then in addition, the some programs do not use regular expression. So the regular access expression library, which, which is kind of huge in, in regard of the embedding system, so you can drop off, you can use the regular expression. And then 
in embedded system, memory management can be issued as well as the server side programming. So we implement the incremental garbage collector for MRB. So incremental means that so we use the knock and sweep algorithm and as well and as in, in MRB as MRI. So but it's uh, process is garbage. It scans its garbage incrementally. So it scans a bit, then then process the program a bit. It it scans a bit. So the the garbage collection is uh, intermixed into the program itself. So that you don't have to worry about the pause time from the garbage collector. To implement the, uh, to realize the software time for embedding system. Uh, yeah. So once MRuby uh, comes, so we can develop the software for smaller devices like a smartphone or the robots or factory automation or some in some games. They need the scripting language to 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 make it happen and uh, make the development to make its development uh, more efficient. So actually, they use Lua right now since we have we we don't see MRuby yet. But the people in the gaming industry shows very deep interest in MRuby. Or well, maybe servers. Some server programs are very memory uh, restricted. So since MRuby do not consume much memory, and we can configure to to reduce the memory uh, consuming memory, so the MRuby can be utilized in some kind of server programs. Then and uh, its target MRuby's target should be the Lua which is from Brazil, and uh, JavaScript, <coughs> server-side. I'm not, I don't think we can replace the JavaScript in the browser. So, but maybe we can replace the JavaScript in the server-side. So, so my goal is to challenge to, to these, these languages. So, so for Lua, is its API is pretty good for embedding systems, and uh, some games, some embedding systems use Lua, but it's quite good imp implementation. It has good API, but the language itself is a bit unusual for most of the programs. Yeah. And JavaScript, JavaScript is quite nice language, so it's fast, so. Yeah, for example, the V8, the virtual machine in Chrome, the Google Chrome browsers, is very entry cost. But, you know, if you want to write uh, some kind of big programs, that for the object oriented programming, you can do some kind of the nasty work of the, the prototyping or the change <coughs> the prototype chains or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, as a programming language, it, it, Ruby can be better than JavaScript and Lua. So, so my challenge, and so we are going to challenge these two languages by MRuby. So it will be available on March 2012. Since it's government funded project, so I'm not going to to disclose it until the project ends at the, the end of the fiscal year of uh, year 2011 this year. But after that, we are going to release it under the open source license, like probably under the MIT license, so that you can freely use in embedding systems or gaming systems. So it's it's almost all about the, the, my presentation, so I get questions. <laughs>